Let's balance the equation Fe2O3 plus CO. This is iron 3 oxide plus carbon monoxide. So first off, we count the atoms up on each side of the equation, and I've already done that. The thing to be careful about, three oxygens here, but don't forget the one in the carbon monoxide. That gives us a total of four. This is a bit of a challenging equation to balance. There's a little bit of trial and error. Let's give it a try. It looks like we could balance the oxygens. The irons are going to be easy to balance because iron's all by itself. So let's do the oxygens first. We put a two here, one times two. That'll give us two carbons, but the two times two, that balances the oxygens. Put a two in front of the carbon monoxide, one times two, that would balance the carbons. Let's update the oxygens. We have our three plus the two times the one. So now we have five and we only have four over here. Why don't we change this number here to a three? So now we have one times three. That gives us three carbons, but the other two times the three here, that'll give us the six oxygens. So now we have more oxygens on this side than over here. If we change this to a three, that should fix the carbons and maybe the oxygens. Coefficient of three, we have three oxygens here, plus one times three gives us six oxygens, one times three for the carbon, that gives us three carbons, and we're done. This equation is balanced. If we were to write the states, they look like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe2O3 plus CO yields Fe plus CO2. Thanks for watching.